responsible for this layout and uh, has had a lot of experience at, at uh, different uh, tent cities and villages of this type around the country. So I'll let him tell you what it's going to look like. Get closer. All right. Well, thank you all for the kind words so far. Uh, it's been a long day coming. Uh, this is a plan that has evolved significantly over the past year, but the primary principle has remained the same. Uh, it's providing, uh, providing a, a small place of one's own and combining that with a shared gathering spaces. And uh, so I was, I was thinking Dan would like me to walk you guys through the site, wh what's going to go on. So I'll start. It's going to be a self-managed community. So right there at the front gate, we are going to uh, put up a front desk, and that's probably going to be the first structure we put up. And I thought, Mark, maybe you could talk about what's going to go on there. That'll support the day-to-day -day operations. And uh... So what we've got planned here, folks, are uh, along with administration, where all the information that you can gather about social services, daily events, you know, where that's going to be held at. We're going to have a front desk where you will check in if you are here to visit. If you're here to volunteer, you'll still be checking in so that we know who you are and where you're from. And at that point, you know, it's just a, a check system for us so that at all times, one, we keep the security of our community. And, and so we're aware of who else is in with us doing the volunteer work, whether uh, you're one of the residents, um, there will be a uh, sheet up front, uh, a log, so that we can keep track of our uh, inside checks that we do, which we are planning to do, uh, just to make sure that the community on the inside knows we're there. Uh, we have, oh gee whiz, um, all kinds of responsibility. We want to make sure that we are the first contact in case something happens back here, um, so that uh, if we need to get a hold of somebody, we can. And um, as Andy said, we are going to be a self-governing and self-policing community. We find that there are examples around Oregon here that work. R2D2, Dignity Village, the 10 cities, all these are self-governed, self-policing. Um, you know, and through that, everybody gets a say in how the day-to-day -day events go, and they feel good about that. We want to incorporate everybody, get their participation. Anyway, through the uh, front desk, that's where we start. That's right. where uh, the first step is. Thanks, Mark. Yes, sir. All right, and then as we move through the site, we have the front desk, and the idea is that we go from more public spaces in the front to more private spaces in the back. So on the other side of the road here, we'd really like to encourage some micro-business ideas. We really want to encourage interaction between the larger community and the residents here. A lot of, a lot of uh, homeless programs you know, tend to isolate the issue, whereas th we're trying to really bring, uh, create, a, create an environment where people from the larger community want to come out and uh, participate. So ideas are micro-businesses like um, growing and selling produce or repairing bikes. We have a group of UO architecture students who are actually working on building a mobile tool shed. They're going to stock that with all kinds of tools, so that'll really lend itself to those type of ideas. And another idea is bringing the Occupy Medical Bus in here. And uh, Dale's been working with them on that, so I thought you could talk about that. 